Today's video is sponsored by Hana Mwaura, a true patriot and a Kenyan nationalist at heart. Alright guys, here are today's top stories in our What in the World segment. Number one, I for one tend to believe that there is nothing more petty in this country than an impeachment motion. Most of the people who are advancing impeachment motions to the Senate, let me not even add another to the list, it's just the Senate. They go beyond the crimes which are chargeable and they bring other non-issues which are just ironic to see. I say this because the governor of Kiricho, Awan Eric Mutai, has been impeached by his MCAs. And if you look at the charges they have leveled against him, you even just wonder. Let me read for you some of these charges because they are just very, very shocking. Let me read for you count D and E. Count D reads, There are numerous complaints of governor's indecent and unnatural sexual behavior by female partners who accuse the governor of, for instance, forcing them to unconsented anal sex, dangerous and unprotected sex, etc., the victim of the abuse seeks anonymity at this stage and the mover of the motion shall, at the hearing of this motion, seek to have the victim heard in camera to protect her identity and dignity. Further, for the sake of concealing her identity, the victim will be identified in a pseudo name. E. The governor has persistently intimidated, molested, harassed county officers who do not sing to his tune, leaving officers jittery and creating an atmosphere of fear uncertainty and dependency in the county and thus creating a toxic work environment. This violates the provisions of sections 11 and 13 of the Leadership and Integrity Act 2012. Now that is where it gets a bit confusing for me because I would expect the charges against the governor, the ones which take up the first few pages of the impeachment motion, not to be salacious scandals. Embezzlement of funds should take precedent. Then these ones should follow. Because how do you prove that the governor had that uh, type of sex which has been mentioned there? Will you table evidence in the form of a sex tape? I mean, how to prosecute such a matter is just very interesting. And uh, after the impeachment of D.P. Rigadi Gashagwa, I believe this will be the next one on the chopping board. And uh, it will be interesting to see how things proceed in the Senate. Anywho, moving on to the second story of the day. Our national government is going to spend 100 million Kenya shillings to develop a national dress, Rinda Yanchi, 100 million Kenya shillings. Let me just read for you this uh, article and I quote, The government has reignited the quest to have a Kenyan national dress as it is now emerging that 100 million Kenya shillings has been budgeted for the project. This is despite the country previously spending 50 million Kenya shillings for the dress, which Culture, Arts and Heritage Principal Secretary Umi Bashir said was a flop. Now, let me ask you, if you have spent... 50 million on a dress. How can it be a flop? And if you failed with 50 million, you couldn't design a national dress for 50 million. 100 million will get you a dress. Morara should be checking on this one. I'll forward it to him because this is not a national dress. It's just a national day for somebody to eat and eat well. Now further down the article, we get an explainer as to why this national dress is so important. A national dress is an attire that is recognized by the citizens of a country as a dress that encapsulates the national diversity, national identity and civilization of a country that enhances national pride, cohesion and also embeds the values and ethos of a nation. For me, as far as I can tell, if a country has a flag, it is not naked. This dress is a non-issue. There is a Kenyan, I'm forgetting the country, but I'm sure most of us can remember the story. It was somewhere in Middle East. He had fought with a co-worker and he ended up killing him. And part of his fine was to produce, uh, was it 150 million or something like that? Or else he's going to be killed. Why can't we give that fellow that 100 million? Atoki uko harudi nyumbani. Instead of doing a national dress and the people doing it cannot be trusted. If you're given 50 million to design a dress and you cannot, now you are doubling it. <laughs> it's a very interesting country, I tell you. Now, the third and final story of the day, as you're viewing this, the time is 8 a.m. and uh, 277 MPs have signed 
regard this impeachment motion and uh, depending on the time you're watching this the impeachment against the dp is already going to be tabled my advice as i've uh, said in the second video of the day it is in his best interest to resign the only reason which regadi should not resign assuming the impeachment gets there is if he knows for sure hundred percent that there is a friendly judge in the judiciary who is willing to overturn this in less than 24 hours or he has enough numbers to stop the impeachment motion if those two things do not exist resign otherwise you will face political death you will never again in your life hold public office mike sonko is one such politician sonko cannot vie for even mca why it to same thing uru finished them with an impeachment well at the end of the day guys that's all i had for you today now what in the world segment do drop me your own comments in the comment section below i'll do my best to read them and to give you a response now in the event you're here for the first time please go on and hit the subscribe button and if you're watching from a different platform just head on over to youtube search for david Fuller. hit the subscribe button you're gonna be getting a ton of content of this nature if politics is something you're passionate about this is definitely the one channel that you really really need to subscribe to all right guys adios Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adios.